physics project, it's about buoyancy. The weight of the floating object equals the weight of the displaced water. Physics. The weight of the floating object equals the weight of the displaced fluid. When there's no one inside of the boat, there's less fluid displaced. See? Less water displaced. When there's more weight inside of the floating object, there's more water displaced, as shown. Give it a kick. This is a fail. There it is. There we see more water is displaced because tail is heavy. 200 pounds of pure muscle. It's a beaut. Hey Jordan, do you know why the wood floats and the rock sinks? I don't know. I don't really care. That's not the kind of attitude you want. Well, there's a simple little physics thing called density. The wood is less dense, where the boulder is more dense. Let's give it a try, shall we? Here's the wood. We shall. Thank you for giving me your wood. Throw it in there. It floats because it is less dense. Where the rock now sinks we're all wet. because it's more dense. Because the flow is continuous, water speeds up when it flows through the narrow or shallow part of the river. And it speeds up as it gets into the narrow part, goes down to the waterfall. And it gets slower because a fluid speeds up when it flows into the narrow region and it goes down when it flows into the wide region. Woo. Gotta go work out there. Oh. Yep, that's it. That's it. Projectile motion is when we try to find the optimum angle to throw our rocks across the, across the river. We're, we're, we're going to have our quarterback, Taylor, here demonstrate whether to throw at a 90 degree, a 0 degree, or a 45 degree angle. Taylor, take it away. First angle, 90 degrees. Not very good optimum angle. As you can see, very bad. Now a low 0 degree angle. Not bad, but still, I want to make it across the stream, so I'm going to need to throw it at a 45. Here we go. Do work. Newton's law states that objects in motion and stay in motion must act on by another object. We're going to try to pull the tablecloth without moving the water. The experiment worked because you pull the tablecloth and not the cup of water. See, when you pull the tablecloth, it, it's only act, you're only acting upon the tablecloth, which leaves the cup virtually in the same spot. Let's see that Aaron, jump! Right here. Jump up. Don't <laughs> <was> video <laughs> I'm cussing in this, man. Hurry up, Aaron. Jump. No! 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 <laughs> Go back! <laughs> Yo, you're gonna fall, Aaron. Aaron, that way. Don't Aaron, that put way. your no, put your foot up like that. No, Go no. like that in Spider-Man. No, 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 it's not. Bring your left foot up and put it in that little hole. Don't video this, man. It's gonna be on there. Put your left foot in that hole. In that hole right there by your left hand. Are you recording? Yeah, sure. Why? Because it's funny. Oh, right, put your left foot right in there. Be really <laughs> now push across. No, no, it's still right, go, get his hand. go get his hand. <laughs> shirt off. Aaron James has his shirt off. And he's reading a physics book. And his underwear <laughs> on his stomach. 
This is not going into our project. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan Horn, and we're going to show you an example of projectile motion. We're going to teach you how to throw a rock to get the optimum, optimum distance. First, we're going to throw it at a high angle and show you what happens. Here we go. Oh, that rock doesn't... I did not get any of that. Well, anyways, I'll just explain it. It went straight up in the air, came down, hit the water. Bad optimum angle. Next one, Jordan. Next, we'll throw it at a very low angle and see how far it can go. Taylor? <laughs> now, we're at the <sighs> now we're going to throw it at a very low angle and see how far it goes. The distance is okay, but let's, let's see a 45 degree angle. All the way across, baby! Didn't even touch the water. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Another example of Bernoulli's principle is this river. Small, yet flowing fast. We walk over here, where these young physics scholars are staring at the river. The river is big, flowing slower. Oh, hi there. Projectile motion is when you check the out, which, oh. Oh, hey there. Objects and motions. Ah, oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Manly man. <sighs> See, the reason why this the reason why this project worked was because we pulled the tablecloth and not the cup of water, or the lack thereof cup of water. See, as I, as we did. Huh? You see, the reason why this project worked was because you pulled the tablecloth and not a cup of water. Newton's law states that a cup, the object in motion stays in motion must act on another object, another force. So, the reason why, once again, the reason why this worked was like, You're filming me, I heard the No, beat. I'm not. Alright, tell me why. You're filming me. No, I'm not. I see the red light! <laughs>